You sent us an email. You're a girl after my own heart because you've already confronted your boyfriend, Chris, over panties that you found in his pocket. What is going on? So we've been dating for a little over two years. And yeah, I was doing laundry and I found like a pair of panties that weren't mine um, and definitely weren't his in his front pocket. We didn't think about that. Maybe they were his. I feel like we're open enough that if they were his, he would tell me about it. Okay. He used to have this, like, really long beard that he was super into, and all of a sudden, like, he shaves it off, he buys new clothes, like, he's just kind of, like, becoming a different person. Transforming. And then on top of that, yeah, and then on top of that, like, finding panties in his laundry, it's just, it's, it's just, you know, it's all too much of a coincidence. So did you confront him and ask him about it? I did, and he said he had no idea what was going on or where that came from. Hmm. And how's your relationship right now? You know, since you confronted him. I mean, like, he's just, he's gone. Like, it feels like he's gone more than he used to be. I think we yeah. have enough here. Especially with the panties. My gosh. Okay, let's uh, yeah. give, let's give him a phone call. It's important, though, if we call him and he doesn't send the flowers to you, remain silent, quiet, because what he puts on the card could tell a lot about the relationship, okay? Yeah. Hannah, if like, do you have someone in mind that it could possibly be? Um, no, honestly, he he works mostly with men, so there's nobody like that comes to mind straight away that it could be. Okay. It's- Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Chris. This is him. Hey, Chris. My name's Sarah. I'm calling from Flowers for you. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Did I catch it at a bad time? Uh, no, it's all right. Well, Chris, I'm calling with some great news. Uh, we are running a Instagram tag contest. Uh, we're a new company. We're just trying to get our name out there. And I have $100 in beautiful free red roses for you to send to someone you love. One of your friends tagged you in our post, and we randomly selected your handle. Okay. Uh, do you have someone that you would like to send these romantic roses to? Uh, do, do you want her name? Yes, please. Uh, can you send them to Ashley? Okay, to Ashley. And I also have a card to go with these romantic roses. Chris, what would you like to write to Ashley on the card? Uh, something like, this has been the best time of my life. You're the best. Uh, I love you so much. Oh, that's sweet. I'm I'm sorry. Which Ashley is this? Is this Ashley? No, it's not. Uh. Hello. Uh. Uh, Chris, you're on War of the Roses with the MRO Morning Show. It's where we bust cheaters. Hannah's on the phone. Hannah, do you know this Ashley? Yeah, that's my best friend. Oh, good. What? Yep. I'm sorry. I met her, like, we talked at the Halloween party when you weren't there, and things just kind of, I... like, went off from there. I, I'm really sorry. Like, I didn't, I, like, recently I can't even tell, like, if you're that into me. Like, I get it. Like, I shouldn't have done... What, like, so you're not making a lot of sense right now. You're just you're just kind of saying words. Like I feel like like the past like month, like you're a different person, and like Ashley's not even talking to me, and it's just, you guys are just like it just feels like everyone's turned against me, and it's just because you guys are off together. So it's Hannah, not... you haven't heard from Ashley either. Mm-mm. That's what that's that's what I hate about this because you lose you know significant other and you lose a best friend. Yeah. So my life is just kind of over right now. Oh, that's, well, that's no. not true. That's not true You're at gonna all. You're going to be fine. That's not true. There's better. You know what? Because they were never your friend to begin with. A real friend would have never done that. So if anything, this is a blessing because you 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 now know. You now know. You don't have to waste your time with these fools. Yeah. You can go find people that actually care about you and love you. I just, I just put, I feel like I just put a lot of time into my relationships and my friendships, and it was just, it's just the biggest betrayal from everyone. 
I, I know I don't expect you to forgive me, like, immediately, maybe, but please think about it. Like, I'm sorry. Uh, like, everybody makes mistakes, but I think... So, what do you mean everybody are... makes mistakes? You're, like, apparently in love with my best friend, so... And said, Chris, why do you need her... Forgive. Like, I don't understand. Are you trying to get back with Hannah, or you just selfishly want her to forgive you? Ashley and I, like, we still want to be friends with you. Like, it doesn't have to be... Oh, no. no. Okay. No, no, f*** you. No, absolutely not. Yeah, I think she's all set, Eeyore. Eeyore. <laughs> That's what he sounds like to me. All right, Chris, there's no roses. He's gone. Ashley, that was... I'm, Hannah, that was a uh, horrible, horrible way to find out. And um, we can say it, but I feel like this one's different. At least now you know. But if you need anything, anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, okay? Thank you. I really, I really, really appreciate that. Want more War of the Roses? Listen to them on demand anytime using the Kiss 95.1 app or Amazon Alexa.